Dr. Kirsten Morris, thank you so, so much for making time to share key insights into Nutrilite Balance Within. I know that spending time with MWA business owners is one of your high points amongst many others. And we are so, so grateful. Well, Simon, you're exactly right. Thank you for having me. This is my, the, my most favorite part of the job. And, um, you know, thank you for, for asking me to be with you. It, it's a pleasure. Thank you for accepting the invite. And, and Dr. Morris, I've recently learned that the human gut is more complex than previously thought and has a huge impact on, on the whole body health. And, and also, um, this has become a topic of increasing research in the medical, including nutrition and wellness community, with numerous studies in the past two decades demonstrating the link between uh, gut health and, uh, and the immune system, and more so mood, including mental health. Well, you know, it, it's interesting, Simon, because Hippocrates, thousands of years ago, actually said death begins in the gut. And I'd like to think now we're taking a more positive spin on that and, and, and saying health begins in the gut. Mm, mm, mm. And considering this, can you bring us uh, in, uh, into perspective, uh, you know, uh, why should we take in a care of our gut and, uh, health daily? Well, you know, it, it really does go to, to what, something you mentioned, Simon, and, and that is it, our gut is critical to just our overall health and well-being. Um, and so, you know, like anything that, that, you, that you really guard as precious, our health. Um, we want to, to be cognizant of the need to take care of it every day. And, you know, as, we, as we've learned how, you know, 70% of our immune system is in our gut, we can't get away from the fact that taking care of our gut has just so many more impacts than just worrying about, um, about our gut. It's our immune system. It's our well-being. It's how we feel. It's, it's really the totality of, of our of our well-being mm -hmm. so so um why then i mean like you know, given that you know what you just said now why then um uh, should we add probiotic supplements to our diets well you know part of this simon is the fact that um we've we've neglected um probiotics for a while we you know we we've, we've taken care of of thinking of our vitamins and minerals and covering gaps in our diet um, as we've become more aware of the impact of the gut, we've realized there are so many things about our busy, hectic lifestyles mm -hmm. that can actually threaten our gut's health. And so, you know, and, and it's not it's not anything it's not anything that that we don't all encounter. It's being busy and not eating the right kinds of foods. Yeah. It's being exposed to in, pollutants. It's being overweight. It's not getting enough physical activity. It's drinking too much sometimes, or it's smoking. And each one of these things threatens our gut. So the, the best way then to, to address that is to turn those things on their head, but we need to give back to our gut some of what life is taking out of it. And that means by adding good bacteria from probiotics, back to our guts. Our guts already contain good bacteria, mm. but when life sort of does its thing on us and, and removes some of those, we want to give our guts the opportunity to continue having the right amounts of good bacteria. And so that's why a probiotic is, is so critical for everyday use. In some cases, we get um, probi or good bacteria from some fermented foods, kimchi, kefir, yogurt, but those, those probiotics or those good bacteria are added um, in order to make dairy into yogurt and the like. They aren't added for the purpose of benefiting us and providing a health benefit. And, and probiotics are targeted. They're intended to go to our gut and help with those other, you know, good things that our gut does. Yeah. So are you saying that if, if somebody says, um, you know, I'm content with just having my yogurt, uh, uh, they, they're missing an opportunity to, uh, to correct you know, the, the microbiome? Well, I think what they're missing is they're missing, um, in, in a lot of cases, the, the, you know, think about how yogurt is made. And it starts out with a milk or something like milk. Yep. And then it's at these, these certain bacteria. And it, we call those starter cultures. So mm -hmm. it's, very, it's a very limited set of of bacteria that we add um, to turn that yogurt, I mean, that milk into yogurt. yogurt yeah. But remember that yogurt undergoes a pasteurization step. Oh, yeah, so yeah, high yeah, heat yeah. 
And so they they very likely are are not even alive by the time that we get them. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. but again, they're also not put into the yogurt for the purpose of benefiting that overall gut balance and helping with our, you know, helping guard our immune system. I get you. I get you. So um, now that uh, uh, we've had like uh, the neutralized uh, balance within, uh, uh, I believe that no, this will be the solution. But now what kind of lactic acid bacteria does the neutralized uh, uh, balance within contain and, and why is it? And given that you know, what, the point you just alluded to with yogurt and some of the cultures not uh, you know get you know targeted and everything else in this product what can we expect well so we've chosen two of the most well studied strains of lactic acid bacteria yep. um, to to use in um, neutralite balance within and we we actually i it was my job sort of to identify those mm -hmm. so i made the recommendation for the the bifidobacterium lactis hn019 and lactobacillus acidophilus NCFM based on a couple of things. Number one, just so much science behind yeah. them. Mm -hmm. Number two, um, there, there being, you know, the, the lactobacillus and the bifidobacterium, those are the two most common sort of families of good bacteria in our gut to begin with. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to add back more of those. But I also matched the levels in our product, two levels that were given to, to people in clinical trials where a benefit was shown. So it's really about having the right strains mm -hmm. at the right levels. Mm -hmm. um, and that, that's, that's what the product brings us. So, um, you know, with that being said, I've also noticed that, uh, but you spoke about the two strains, but now I've also noticed that I counted this about 6 billion colony forming units of lactic acid bacteria. And not more. And and when you look at say uh, in the trade, you know, uh, there's brains that will go on say uh, nine, you know, uh, billion or whatever, you know, billions, you know, higher than six. Why specifically six billion in this product? Yeah, and so that's a really great question, Simon. And, and the first thing I want I want people to understand is that when it comes to probiotics, more does not mean better. Mm -hmm. um, and and you know we recognize that, and so it was important for us then, as I said, right strains, yep. right levels, right CFUs. Yep. So yep. by matching those levels in our product to clinical trials where people saw benefits, right? Mm -hmm. Then we don't need more. We designed it to do just you know to do just that, provide the right strains at the right levels to deliver those health benefits. A lot of products will contain these exorbitant numbers of, of, of probiotics. Mm -hmm. And you simply, that that's simply over and above what your body needs, if even all of them survive. Mm -hmm. A lot of times um, products that have really, really high numbers um, are using commodity sort of strains, yep. strains that don't really aren't that robust. So mm. they won't make it through the end of shelf life. Yep, in, yep. in our case, it's about the right strains, the right levels, delivering the right benefits. And we know that that what is on the label is what you're going to receive in your product through the last day of shelf life. Great point. And, and can you also share you know, the science you know, behind the product and, and what makes it special? I know one of the you know, key points is that uh, you know, the strain that we're talking about you know, can survive you know, the you know, uh, acid level you know, in, in the gut, while mm -hmm. you know, uh, you know, alluding to other brands. You know, uh, not that we're here to you know, diss any other brand, but uh, specifically to this product, what makes it special and you know, as a differentiator you know, to all that is out there? Well, you know, this product is really, it's really, it's almost like more than one product. Mm. Um, so, you know, the first, the first piece of that are, are these strains of lactic acid bacteria. And, mm. you know, when, when you consume something, whether it's a, a supplement or a food, um, you know, it has to go through your stomach and your stomach is, it, that's a really harsh place. Yep. There's a lot of acids. There are all these enzymes and there's not a lot of oxygen. And even after it gets through the stomach, it has to go through the upper small intestine where again, all these digestive enzymes. But um, what we did was to look for what, what we call naturally strong strains, mm -hmm. strains that, that through their own abilities um, can, can resist the 
those harsh conditions that it has to go through um, in the GI tract before it gets to the gut. Mm. Um, and that's really important because that that enables them to arrive alive in the gut. They have to arrive alive mm -hmm. in order in order to work. So that's really important. So, you know, in addition to right strains, right levels, you know, it, it was the other piece of that was naturally strong. They can survive the bile salts. They can survive the, the acids. They can survive all of these things that some probiotics would have to be encapsulated or have a coating on mm. in order to survive. Mm. Um, so, so that's very important. And, you know, once they arrive alive in your gut, that's when they take a seat and they start, they start working and they start, you know, growing in number, which is what we want them to do, mm. uh, but they have to get there alive. Right. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, but, but balance within again, you know, it's more than, it's kind of like more than one product You also get the B vitamins, um, you know, which, you know, also enable uh, support your immune system and, and other functions as well. And, um, you know, there's also the convenience of the product and and the convenience that 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 convenience stick pack comes with a lot of data behind it, too, because it took us a while to get to the right stick pack design for the products. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. Um you know, in closing, uh, what are the uh, key maybe three to four benefits about Neutralite no, Balance Within that you want us to remember? Okay, that's thank you for asking. Well, let's just drill down to it. You know, if you take nothing else away, we want you to know these things. Yep. Number one, the product provides the right strains of probiotics at the right levels. And, and remember, those levels are matched to levels where people in clinical trials had benefits in in digestion or in immunity. So they're delivering that that those functions to you and immune function. So you also get those B vitamins, which reinforce the benefits on immune function. They help your immune system to function normally. And, and your gut is so important for that. And, and so giving them the right nutrients to even do that in another way. Also, what do we know about B vitamins? And this is probably the first thing people think of with B vitamins is, they help us to sort of manage feelings of tiredness and fatigue. And I don't know about you, Simon, but these days I, I'm pretty much always feeling tired and fatigued. So I can yeah, use yeah. all the help I can mm -hmm. get. Yeah. Um, but, you know, the B vitamins too, and, and we didn't touch on this, but I'm going to do it now. Um, you mentioned mental function earlier. And yeah. we really have begun to refer to our gut as our second brain. Mm -hmm. And so our brain and our gut and this brain up here, are constantly communicating with one another back and forth. Yeah. The gut has its own nervous system. And so those B vitamins, it, they help to the nervous system to function normally. And that means the nervous system in your gut and this one too. And that's why we want to, we want to continue that normal function. Um, you know, and, and, you know, again, so it, it's, it's also that those B vitamins are kind of what I call feel good vitamins. Mm. They support a positive mood. So you get immunity, positive mood. Um, you get the convenience of the stick pack. You get um, the support for your nervous system. Um, and you get that tiredness and fatigue reduction. So lots of benefits going on in one little stick pack. Yeah. And, and the thing uh, about it, I mean, like, I know we spoke about the stick pack. I, I just like the fact that I can take it anyway. I, I That's can, right. Yeah. I mean, I can, I can have it, let's say, you know, I can take it to gym. I can take, especially as a conversation side, I'm thinking that, you know, I'm imagining all the scenarios where, you know, I could take it around to create those conversations. I mean, if, if I'm seen at, at, at my gym, you know, tearing it up and having it all, you know, while meeting with friends, you know, around a table somewhere and you know, tearing it up and putting it in my mouth, you know, somebody's bound to ask me what this is. And, and, and with the information that I would have had, you know, uh, you know, and on the product, it's easy for me to start sharing all these conversations about, you know, about the product and, and how you know, brilliant it is. And that's exactly right. It doesn't have to be refrigerated. And that's another difference um, between oh. our product. But mm. keep it with you all the time. I do the same. And, and just as you suggested, Simon, I encourage everybody to wait until you have an audience around you, yeah. you know, use it when people can see you because inevitably someone's going to say, what is that? Or what are you? And, and there's your door opener. And if you've always got some extra ones with you, as I know you and I always do, yeah. um, sure. what a perfect time to say, well, here, why don't you try one? And give me feedback the next day. 
Exactly. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think uh, once again, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so, so much for your time, you know, with, with us. And I wish you a pleasant day further. And uh, it was a great spending time with you. Thank you so, so thank much. Thank you, Simon. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I, I look forward to many more opportunities with you. Thank you so much. All right. Okay, bye. Bye.